Has the role of uh, the performance measurement staff changed over the years, and if so, how? I think the role of the performance measurement staff has become even more critical in this hyper-focused era of performance in addition to after fee performance. It seems as though in this industry, Eugene, there's a race to the bottom with respect to all investment strategies, whether they be packaged products or separately managed accounts. But at the end of the day, it's very critical that the data is accurate in representing what your true performance is, and that's risk-based performance after fees. What should the role of an executive be if, if there is a conflict between the performance measurement staff and the portfolio managers over quantifying funds and quantifying portfolios? Sure. And in terms of the role of executive management, I happen to be fortunate enough to be the President and Chief Investment Officer at Hanging & Walsh Asset Management. But we have a much smaller, tighter-knit group as we approach investment management, portfolio management, compliance, and marketing. We're all, all intertwined, using the same data, using the same systems, and working towards the same objectives. So it's never a situation where something has to be raised or elevated for conflict resolution because all parties are at the same table working on it together. What is the best strategy for aligning the performance measurement and portfolio management staffs toward the same goal? Yeah, and it's a great question and I just discussed this in the panel as well. I think it's much less of a technology solution and it's much more of a people solution. If you can get the people in your organization invested in the process, pun intended, and working towards that same goal, now all of a sudden, you don't have to worry about two disparate separate groups because they're all invested in the same process, working towards the same goals, each accountable for their own role in that process.